Face the table. One, three, seventy grand. I'll try for the seventy. <laughs> Chaser. Either go low or go high in that situation. You've chosen to go high, so Bradley, do the honours, please. Yeah, that's from the beast, John. Well done, mate. This is what we do always. Well done. Very good. Very good. All right. Good luck. John, for 70 grand, the chase is on. OK. Here we go. Good luck. Here comes your first question. The name of what transport path can also be used colloquially to mean rushing someone into something? A, motorway. But B, railroad. C, tramline. <laughs> <laughs> You've put railroad. That was jammy. <laughs> nice. You think so? Yeah. A good one. Correct answer is. Well, well, Chaser has put. <laughs> OK. Chaser comes onto the table. We get a lot of people uh, that come and watch the celebrity shows and letters from the people who watch the daytime show. You know, sometimes, oh, I could have got that question, I could have got that question. It's a different ball game when you're standing here. It's completely yeah. different. Yeah. Sometimes you even doubt your own name. <laughs> yeah. You ready, Dave? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next question. What country's national anthem features lyrics in five languages? A, South Africa. B, Spain. C, Singapore. Oh. All day long. You've put South Africa. Yeah, has to be. Happy with that? Yeah, I think did, so. Did you ever yeah. meet Nelson Mandela? I did. Did you? But, well, I didn't actually meet him, but I was very close to him. Right. You know. Nice man. Enigmatic? Yeah, yeah. Super. Yeah, fantastic man. Correct answer is... Well played. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice South Africa, Chase is put. <laughs> South Africa. Here's your next question. Which American president became blind in one eye due to a boxing injury? A. Abraham Lincoln. B. Theodore Roosevelt. C. Calvin Coolidge. You've put Theodore Roosevelt. Do you know this? Well, I, it was somewhere in the back of my mind that I'd heard that. The correct answer is. Walk for seconds, I know that. Come on! Chase is quick. <laughs> we are three steps ahead. It's good news. Here's your question. Which of these phrases is derived from a story in the biblical book of Daniel? A. The writing's on the wall. B. The world is not enough. C. The living daylights. <laughs> Come on, John. You've nailed this. You've put... The writing's on the wall, John. That's what you've put. I put that. I hope it is. Correct answer I is... I hope it is. Chase, it goes right. Here's the next question. Two from home. Come on, John. Come on, John. What does Giles Corran review for the Times newspaper? A, books. B, restaurants. C, theatre. You've put restaurants. Yeah. Happy with that? I'm pretty sure he does, yeah. Correct answer yeah, yeah. is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chaser's put. Those restaurants. You're one from home. Chaser is three behind. I wish you luck, John. Thank you very much. I hope, <laughs> I hope your next question is your last question. Come on, get in. What Barry Manilow song was inspired by a Chopin prelude? A, Mandy. B, Could It Be Magic? C, Copacabana. I know this. <laughs> pure, oh, I hope it's no, shush, shush, shush. A pure shush, guess. Shush. A pure guess. I, is it a guess? A guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pure guess. 
sure get. This is the only one I've known! Oh, okay. <laughs> You've put... I put... Ah, uh, no. No. <laughs> I know Mandy, but it doesn't sound like Chopin to me, Mandy. But if you slow it down and play it in D major... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Correct answer is...